Good morning and welcome to St. John's Lutheran Church in Poughkeepsie, New York and our virtual worship series. This video is for Sunday, June 13th, 2021, which is the third Sunday after Pentecost. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful weather that we're having and that you're staying safe and healthy wherever you are today. So let's take a moment to frame our hearts and minds before God as we prepare to worship this morning. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. All-powerful God, in Jesus Christ, you turned death into life and defeat into victory. Increase our faith and trust in him, that we may triumph over all evil in the strength of the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And this morning's text is the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark in the fourth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. He also said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So one of my, my favorite views up here in the Hudson Valley since we've moved up this way is actually, uh, believe it or not, the view right from our parsonage dining room window. Because you look out there, it's it's so peaceful, it's so park-like, um, and the huge trees, they make you feel safe and, and secure, you know? And it reminds me of, of today's gospel where Jesus uses those superlative adjectives to describe what that tiny mustard seed grows into and with birds and, and pastors living in its shade. And it sounds a lot like the, the awesome cedar trees that Ezekiel describes in the first lesson except for one tiny problem. Jesus is describing a mustard tree, which isn't really a tree at all. It's actually a shrub. And it's a, a gnarly, ugly shrub at that. So, so that the kingdom of God is like a gnarly, ugly shrub? I, I kind of like the, I kind of like the cedar tree image better, you know? But then again, Jesus was never one for painting pictures the way you'd expect, you know, things to be. It goes all the way, even all the way back to David, you know, who was the sort of the ruddiest of all of his brothers, not nearly as handsome or as tall as all the rest, and everybody sort of laughed, you know, when he came up through the line. And yet, he was the one chosen by God. So, yeah, <laughs> maybe the kingdom of God is more like a, a shrub, but not so much uh, because of its, its physical appearance, though, but because of the way it grows. See, in the text, Jesus notes, to start with, that someone tosses the seeds down, walks away, forgets about it, but it grows anyway. Ah, kind of reminds me of those hostas that I dug up a long time ago in, back in Melville and forgot about them for a whole year. But they didn't care where they were. They just kept going. So, hey, I don't know how it works. It just does. And actually, it's significant that, I, you know, I don't know how it works. It's significant that the someone in the gospel that Jesus is talking about in the parable, that that person does not know how it works either. I mean, yeah, sure, we know because we all took biology, so we know the process. But that's not the process that Jesus is talking about. And the phrase, he does not know how it happens, in the biblical context, actually means this. 
It means the person who scattered the seeds has no input from that point on. The whole process of growth happens outside that person's control. And that person doesn't have any responsibility for the success or failure of it. He just goes and collects when it's, when it's done. You know, look, so often as Christians, we begin to think that the success or the failure of the kingdom of God depends on our actions and depends on our choices. And sometimes, you know, we get the sense of urgency about everything. Like, like we have to reach everyone with the word who, or else. Like, it's somehow our problem, you know, whether the kingdom grows or not. But here it is, specifically in this gospel, in this parable, Jesus says, in no uncertain terms, the process of the growth of the kingdom of God happens entirely outside of us. We have no input into its actual growth, and we don't have any responsibility for its success or its failure. Partly because it's not ours, it's, it's God's. And even more important, the planting itself wasn't deliberate. You know, we think we have to have like a, a vast master plan for discipleship and evangelism, but the planting wasn't deliberate. Remember, Jesus uses the word scatter, which is a whole different word from the word plant or sow. This is scatter. This is a some random guy scattering seeds on the ground without even a plan or a shovel. And yet, the stuff grows. And here's what Jesus says it grows into. Starting with that tiny, inconspicuous, randomly planted seed. Somehow, by the way, whenever I hear this parable, the manger comes into my mind. So, with this tiny seed, the kingdom-shaped mustard shrub, right, offers something when it grows. It grows into something hugely important. It offers protection. It offers safety and shade. Not just to sit under, but mind you, but this kingdom-shaped shrub is gnarly enough inside to build a nest. See, you can live in a mustard tree. So maybe gnarly is a good thing, because the kingdom of heaven is now a haven. So maybe evangelism isn't what we think it is. Maybe from this text, evangelism isn't about making sure that the Holy Spirit grows into a mighty oak or a cedar tree in someone else's heart. Maybe evangelism isn't really about results at all. Maybe evangelism is really just about being, being loving, being servants, being love. Oh, and evangelism, it's also not just for someone else to do. Because remember, in this parable, the one who spreads the seeds is not even a farmer. It's just a random person. Could be anyone. Could be you. And that is the point. Look, we, we can be shrubberies for God. We can be gnarly disciples in our own lives. We can be the safe place where our friends and our family can build a nest. Here at St. John's, we can be the place where all kinds of people can find refuge and safety and strength. Because the kingdom is, is here, but the kingdom is also here. That in itself is evangelism. That is discipleship. So this week, when you're out there, you know, don't worry about how or what or where or when. 
just just be just be you created by god loved by god cherished by god valued by god so do as the parable says <laughs> scatter random seeds of love wherever you go wherever you are and before you know it grace will have grown all around you in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen and now may the peace of god be with you always take a moment to share that peace with the people in the room with those of you uh, watching together as a group uh, people walking outside people on the street you know make a call send a text let somebody know that the spirit of god can be their haven too so now gathered into one by that holy heavenly spirit let us pray as jesus taught us saying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen and now may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon each one of you and be gracious to you may the lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace amen and remember you are the body of christ raised up for the world go in peace be a haven serve the lord thanks be to god thanks for joining us today we hope you have a blessed peaceful and safe and healthy week god bless you all